here back once again with an episode of the tea drinker and we are looking of cup of life tea o'clock organic tea selection actually it's more tisanes sort of herbal teas and um sort of uh things like that healthy brews so it comes in a box like that all sort of different colors uh, I got this from TK Maxx. It's actually part of the English tea shop chain, which I have done in an earlier video. Uh, but uh, I didn't know this when I got it. So I decided to do it anyway because, um, well, it's tea and it's there, so might as well. Um, yeah, so I got this in TK Maxx. It was $12.99. Uh, you can probably get it online. I'll have a look and uh, post a link down below. So there's six different flavours. And we're going to be going through those. So, so here we have, first of all, we have Cruel and Tranquil. That's Chamomile and Spearmint. Sorry. Uh, organic chamomile together with fennel, ginger, spearmint, licorice and vanilla produce a relaxing cup of tea that makes you forget the stresses of the day and brightens your everyday life. So it does have uh, licorice in it, which I have a, a bit of a bugbear, a bit of a bugbear of mine because it does dominate the taste and uh, also it's bad for people with hypertension so yeah, be very careful about licorice. Then we have cranberry and ginger. Organic. Uh, okay. A delicious and refreshing infusion of cranberry, ginger, rosehip and lemongrass. Delivering a well-balanced blend to make you glow inside and out. Then you actually have a tea one here. That's white tea, jasmine and lavender, which is probably a sort of sleep aid one because it has lavender in it and that's supposed to promote uh, sleep. Okay, a delicate blend of white tea, fragrant jasmine, lavender and spearmint that excites the senses to promote relaxation and inner contentment. Floral happiness in every cup. So here we have feel good ginger and lemon. It's probably a digestive because ginger and lemon are very good for digestion. Uh, spice things up and lift up your vibes with a cup of feel good tea, an organic blend of ginger, cinnamon, turmeric, lemon and nettle to excite your body, mind, body and soul. So it's got turmeric in it. I have been drinking some turmeric based teas lately and they've been doing me a world of good so looking forward to trying this one here we have body booster which is cinnamon and ginger which is probably going to be quite spicy uh, a refreshing organic blend of rosehip cinnamon hibiscus moringa ginger cocoa fennel and garlic Wow, that's going to be a bit of a weird taste. I wonder what that's going to taste like. It's either going to be really garlicky or really chocolatey. So, uh, hmm. Looking forward to that one. And here we have matcha and turmeric. So you have the sort of green tea of the matcha and the sort of health benefits of the turmeric. Um... You don't need to follow the Japanese tea rituals to enjoy a blend of the finest hand-picked matcha and turmeric. Relax and refresh the body. So it's a it's an oolong tea, so it's green oolong tea, and with matcha, turmeric and cinnamon. So that's going to be interesting. Anything else in the box? So that's what the, uh, the box looks like. It's supposed to look a bit like a clock. Tea o'clock. Turn it over on the back. So, what does it say again? Uh, no, it's just really what repeats on what it says on the tea bags. Um, and uh, 
so yeah it's it's part of the soil association so it's all organic and uh, it's been certified and things like that so let's get our cups and saucers out and get our kettle on and uh, find out what the uh, the first stage of the the brew the uh, observation section okay so we've added the hot water and um, we've had them brewing for a couple of minutes there's a lovely sort of herby fruity uh, sort of mold smell coming off of them um, they're, they're sort of um, sort of tawny uh, brownish orange color um, the white tea there um, and the matcha and turmeric is a slightly lighter colour and just a shade lighter than that is the chamomile and spearmint now the cranberry and ginger and the cinnamon and ginger are both sort of reddish colours uh, the cranberry and ginger is slightly darker and the ginger and lemon is fairly light in colour, uh, much lighter than the other sort of yellowish brews. Okay, so now we've had our first look and a sort of first sort of smell of the teas. Let's set up for the taste test. Okay, so we'll kick things off with the white tea jasmine and lavender this also has spearmint in it which is probably why it's a, a darker colour let's give it a sniff definitely definitely getting jasmine straight off the bat and I can get the slight mintiness of the spearmint as well Quite an unusual taste because I am getting the um, the combined florals of the jasmine and the lavender, and definitely getting the spearmint as well. And there's a slight uh, astringency from the tea, but I will give it this for something that is um, overwhelmingly floral because you've got the the jasmine and lavender. It's not cloyingly floral. It's just wonderfully balanced with the tea. The floral notes are very subtle, uh, which is good. It, they're not. They're not. It's not like you've just drunk um, a load of perfume. Um, nice subtle floral flavors. The white tea is coming through. It's quite a strong, but it, it's. It's strong, but it, it's also kind of a relaxing uh, taste. Okay, next we have matcha and turmeric. Um, been drinking a lot of turmeric flavored teas at the moment. They're actually quite good. Sort of, um, um, a subtle scent, subtle sort of heart herbiness. This uh, this has an oolong base, so it's going to be a bit strong. Mm. It's very green. It's sort of very sort of spring green, slightly oniony taste about it. It's quite herby. There's a lot of strength to it. It's got a bit of a kick, and um, it's got a bit of a dry mouth feel as well. There's something about it's it's like raw spring onions. It's very sort of green, very fresh, very um you know, mowed meadow type um aroma sort of taste to it. Okay, now we're moving on to cranberry and ginger. I 
I think this might be a sort of digestive um, brew. Lovely cranberry fruity scent straight off. Not getting too much ginger, but we'll see when we taste it because ginger usually is more apparent in the taste than the aroma. Mm. Quite tart, quite fruity. Not getting that sting that I, I sort of um, more familiar with ginger brews. The cranberry more dominates it. I think it's got some rose hip in it as well. So it's definitely more sort of fruity. It has a sharpness to it. Um, it's, it's more fruity, less herby, but it's a lovely taste. It's got sweetness to it, it's natural sweetness to it as well. Okay. Now we have the chamomile and spearmint. Now this has got licorice in it and I do have a personal bug bow with licorice because it does kind of dominate um, the palette of the teas it's mixed in with. Um, so yes, I'm going to try this. Ironically, it's it's more of a vanilla smell. It does have vanilla in it, but that's the most dominant smell. It's sort of vanilla, fudgy, sweet kind of smell. Now I am getting the slight licorice sweetness, but it's not the dominant sweetness. It's it, it's it's got a vanilla taste to it. I can definitely taste the. Um, I can definitely taste the spearmint. There's a bit of floral from the chamomile. But I tell you what it does taste like. It does taste like like butter mints. You know those little like uh, or those sort of sort of toffee toffee mints that you get. Like um sort of a bit like a chocolate eclair, but they've got mint in the middle. That is very pleasant. Um, the licorice doesn't dominate. It's sort of, it's yes, it's got a nice confectionery taste to it. The vanilla and the spearmint, definitely the top notes. Very subtle hint of chamomile though, but not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, uh, now we have ginger and lemon which has, again, has turmeric in it and a bit of nettle. So this is probably gonna taste quite herby and it's called feel good, but I suppose it's a, a digestive, uh, again, something to be drunk after meals. Nice sort of subtle citrus smell. I can getting a hint of ginger as well. So let's give this a bit of a taste. Oh, there we go. There's the hit of the ginger. Definitely a little tickle in the back of the throat. Little bit subtle on the um, lemon. I'm not really getting the sort of lemon taste in it. I'm getting a sort of herbiness, the ginger and the turmeric. It's got cinnamon as well, but I can't... I can... Actually, it's like... I can definitely have a hint of cinnamon there, but I can't really taste the lemon, and that's a little disappointing uh, since it's sort of one of the prominent flavours on the packet, but um, it's not too bad, not too bad. Could do with a little more lemon. Now the last one we have is cinnamon and ginger. That's got uh, the cocoa and the garlic in it which I'm definitely smelling the garlic. That's un unmistakable smell of garlic there. Uh, so um, let's give it a taste. It's probably, you can definitely taste the garlic there. It's not overwhelming, 
but it's um it's definitely there wow you've never had garlic in your tea before so it's good for you though iron can't really taste the cocoa there should be a bit of a sort of hint of chocolatiness about this but it's sort of fruity and um herby and the definite the garlic coming through um mm, it's not unpleasant but it's not it's slightly like a very weak soup definitely i think the garlic's a little out of place but it's it's not unpleasant okay so that was the uh, cup of life uh, tea o'clock selection on the whole not too bad quite a few surprises especially the um cool and tranquil uh with the licorice uh, not too bad. I'd have to say on the whole um, the cranberry and ginger was my favourite because it had, was a nice tart flavour um, quite fruity um, and the white tea jasmine and lavender that was very good as well not too overwhelmingly floral bit disappointed with the body booster um, as I feared the gar garlic if you put garlic in anything it does has a, has a ten tendency to overpower it uh, any taste um, you have to be very careful especially when you're cooking I uh, know that from experience um, but uh, not unpleasant I'll say that again uh, so yes cup of life I'll put some details um, in the uh, box below um, you can go have a taste of course I got this from TK Maxx they probably have it on their own website and that so yes okay so that was it for another episode of the tea drinker I've been Sue Mnemonic thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next video